So I don't really know. This is like a more... What am I trying to say? So this video is going to be a little bit more serious. I mean, I'm still going to be wiling out in my shenanigans and whatnot, but I guess, is this a trigger warning? Am I putting a trigger warning on the video right now? Is that what I'm doing? If that's what I'm doing, we're going to be talking about eating disorders and stuff, so if you can't handle that, and if it's just a little, a little too much, if it's a little too much, then watch one of my other videos. Hey, hey y'all, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Brandy, and I'm a graphic designer and a health coach. And today, we are going to be talking about my vegan journey. How exciting! Once upon a time, there was a sis who loved her chicken and feta salads, her Greek yogurt, and her penne pasta with ground turkey meat and mozzarella. It took a while for me to get to this place though because I grew up just like any other kid basically eating whatever my parents bought. Sometimes it was healthy homemade meals and other times it was Chinese takeout, Burger King, pizza, or Wendy's. We also had a good amount of junk food, candy, and sugary pops in the house. Eventually my mom would start buying diet snacks and one of her favorites was those darn fat-free plasticky devil's food cookie cakes by Snackwells. If you know, you know. Those things were so gross. They almost started tasting good after the sixth or seventh one. Around third or fourth grade, I started noticing that I was bigger than some of the other kids at my school. Certainly not the biggest, but I was bigger than some of my closest friends at the time, and it actually really bothered me. So at a very young and impressionable age, I became even more aware of how different I was, being one of the only other black girls in my class. I think in third grade, there were four of us in my class, and then in fourth grade, there were one or two black girls or just black kids, period. So I started focusing more on what I was eating and eating less and less, or making sure that what I was eating was diet food. After a while of torture, I just started eating what I wanted. I didn't eat a lot, but what I was eating was definitely not healthy. And of course, stuff wasn't fun at home. Lots of dysfunctional family dynamics that we can't fit into this video, let me tell you. So being at school for me was a relief. But at school, I also felt so uncomfortable that after a while, I just wanted to go home and be isolated, like, away from people. Hello, eating disorder! I struggled with anorexia all throughout junior high, high school, and college. It was never a constant thing, but it always came in and out in waves. And when it came, it was really bad. And when I had to eat again, that was really bad too. And I would eventually turn to binging. After one of my most toxic relationships ended, another story time that cannot be squished into this video, I had the worst struggle with anorexia that I ever had in my life. This is also the time where I would spend up to 8 hours in the gym. Yes, 8 hours. I had told myself that it was my job to get into shape not even realizing I was underweight at one point, according to my doctor. I even had to get IV fluids and everything. It was a whole mess. After all that, I really tried to regulate my food and my exercise, but it was really difficult. I had starved myself for so long that no matter what I ate, I was still hungry, so I gained weight, and I gained way more than I actually wanted to. What sucked is that I also had digestive issues that came after my body realized I was insane and couldn't take it anymore. So after doing so much research on my own on health and nutrition, I started reading books and journals and articles, talking to real doctors and quack doctors, I decided that I was going to take control of myself and get this right. I had already been on both extremes and that was getting me nowhere. However, with the digestive problems came the fatigue. I would eat lunch at work and basically be ready for bed. <laughs> My little chicken salad and Greek yogurt was like a sweet lullaby that actually did have me drooling at my desk for a few minutes one sunny afternoon. And this went on for months. It didn't matter how much I slept, it didn't matter how much coffee I drank or didn't drink. Pre-workout didn't even keep me awake. So then I started looking into vitamins, minerals, and healing my gut through a plant-based diet. I was already pretty plant-based and only ate chicken, fish, and some forms of egg and dairy. 
It had been many, many years since I ate pork or beef, and those foods always grossed me out anyway, ever since I was little. And I always thought that they smelled weird. So I doubled my veggie consumption and I slowly phased out the chicken and the fish and then I phased out the Greek yogurt and the rest of the dairy and the egg products that I was eating. One time, I'll never forget this, I tried to eat a slice of regular cake after I had started phasing out these animal products. And so I was still eating a few things that I had left over that weren't vegan, but I figured one of my last hurrahs would be a slice of this vanilla cake with white buttercream frosting. And it was a normal sized slice, it wasn't a binge or anything like that, but I was sick the entire rest of the day. My stomach bloated up so big and I went home from work and immediately fell on my couch and slept for like four hours without getting up. Still had my work clothes on and everything, it was crazy. At that point, my mind was made up that I was going to go vegan. Hello, eating disorder number two! Instead of going vegan, I went straight into orthorexia, which is basically an obsession with eating the right foods or the healthiest foods. So I did raw everything. Fruits, lettuce with apple cider vinegar dressing, and a sprinkle of sunflower seeds. It was a complete disaster. I was afraid to eat anything that was processed for fear that I would ruin my health. And what happened? My struggle with orthorexia was ruining my health. <laughs> After another trip to the hospital, I was ready to commit to whatever I needed to do to be healthy, even if it meant gaining some weight. The one thing I wanted to do was stay plant-based and vegan because the fatigue I had previously experienced eating animal products was actually improving after about a month or so. So I went into veganism having really no idea where to start or how to do it without also struggling with the orthorexia. I had to stop following raw vegans for a while because that wasn't what was working for me. And I had to take the parts of the plant-based diet that were working for me and let go of the rest. So that's what I did. With my workouts improving and my ability to stick to a better workout routine, I had to eat more protein. My body really needed it. So I opened myself up to alternative vegan meats that were processed. Woo, scary. And it was great. The mock meats actually proved to be much better protein sources than beans, which are carbs, okay? Not the best source of vegan protein. And definitely much better than peanut butter, which is a fat source, a very high calorie fat source. And again, not the best source of vegan protein. So if you're plant-based and you're trying to build muscle, you will need protein, and these are just not the best sources for that. There's protein in them, of course, but that's not primarily what they're made of. Just, just keeping it 100. So for me, tofu, seitan, tempeh, edamame, protein pastas, protein powders, protein bars, nutritional yeast, and mock meats all helped me reach and exceed my protein goals. I only know this because I track my macros, by the way. If y'all have not seen that video, be sure to check it out. I will link it or include a card. It's important to track your progress. I had so many people get annoyed with me by my wanting to go vegan. Even though it didn't affect their lives, I was just kind of like, okay, whatever. And I was determined to stick to it. I had some family members, people who claimed to care about me, and even random people whose opinions I didn't ask for, all weighing in on what I was doing with my diet. And yes, the protein questions came. Even my brother was like, Well, someone went vegan and gained a whole lot of weight. Um, sucks to be that guy. And I get it. I mean, everyone is gonna have something to say. But I went vegan during a time when it was not really cool or popular to be vegan, and the term plant-based wasn't a trend yet. So this was about eight years ago. I even had a pastor make a comment that being vegan meant you were in a pagan religion. <laughs> now y'all, I'm a Christian, so this pastor knew I was a Christian, yet he had to interject his incorrect statements that are not backed by anything. Y'all out there from the low carb church? Anyone repping the church of keto out here? Sound off in the comments because people are out here wiling out really hard. And of course, not all pastors are like that, of course, so no hate. I am a Christian, but Christians don't believe that vegans are pagan, okay? 
I just had to tell that story because it really shows that some people just don't know what they're talking about. But anyway, it was discouraging. There were some days that were harder than others. There were days where I just wanted to eat a regular pizza as I searched for the perfect vegan cheese that didn't taste like plastic. Veal Life and Field Roast, by the way, are superb. And there were just not as many vegan products out back then as there are now, so I had to get really creative with bread, tofu, beans, and broccoli. Then I expanded into the world of smoothies and baking and sauces and more. So it did just take some time to learn what I liked until regular foods and desserts made from animal products just weren't really an issue for me anymore. Ever since that cake incident though, I still get a little sick looking at regular non-vegan cakes in the grocery store. Sis was struggling that day. But I learned what I liked, and I tried out new things, and if I craved something that wasn't vegan, I tried to just recreate it. And if I couldn't recreate it, or if my recipe failed, which happened a lot, I would see if I could find what I wanted at a store or at a restaurant. So Pad Thai was an example of this, which is probably why I love Asian foods so much. I just wanted Pad Thai without the fishy sauce and without the egg. Maybe throw some tofu in if you really love me. And I found a restaurant that did just that. Since it was so many calories though, I split the meal up into two. And then I went to work on creating my own healthier version of the same thing at home. So it definitely wasn't the exact same recipe, but it was healthier, it was less sodium, more protein, more veggies, and it was more filling. I did this with so many other recipes too. Nowadays, there are so many vegan recipes out here. Even if you're not vegan and you just wanna eat some good food, you can still find amazing recipes. And it's so much easier now than when I first started that I'm just a little bit jealous, just a little bit. So throughout my entire journey, I did do a lot of research on my own, and some of the vegan YouTubers that helped me were Sweet Potato Soul, Healthy Crazy Cool, Fit Green Mind, and Natalie Matthews. Those are some peeps who helped me along my vegan journey and really kept me going throughout these eight years. So now that I'm moving into a new phase of body recomposition with my training, I'm excited to see how far I can push my genetics on a plant-based diet. No sauce in these muscles. So what a perfect time to join the peeps! Subscribe to the channel to see where things are going and what's happening next. I'm currently reopening slots for health coaching, so if you need help with your health goals or if you just have no idea where to even begin, you can message me on Instagram, leave a comment down below on this video, or you can email the email address down below to see if we would be a good fit working together. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Lots of life things going on for me recently, so I'm focusing a lot on the tie-in between mental and physical health, which has been interesting and helpful all at the same time. So be sure to check that out if you get a chance. I'm probably gonna go eat some food, some bird food, since that's all that vegans eat. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like the video if you liked it. Love you peeps. Bye! <laughs>